Hello and welcome to my F122 driving career menu. Today, for part 29 for the Singapore Grand Prix, open for a better result than the last one. But if you go then, you're into qualifying straight away. And there is rain, which makes the run the way. So as we can clear our first flying line, it's important to get some in. Come across the line, and enough for P3 for now. But as we skip on, to the end of the session and you can see on the camera the rain is starting to fall and it like it is the worst in the end of the start of the season also um, Belgium in season 1 and as we go on further around the lap the rain is getting worse to the extent where I had no grip on clip the barrier and spun the car around and that's our qualifying over we're going to start miles down the back so let's go to the race it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen Perez Lando Norris and Ricardo Russell Mick Schumacher Fernando Alonso and Alex Albon Sainz They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Latifi, Pierre Gasly and Sonoda. Brown, Ocon, Kevin Magnussen and Lance Stroll. They've taken a grid penalty. Joe and Robert Schwartzman. That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. So in terms of strategy then, it's a one-stop race for us. We're going to start on the mediums and then move over to the hard tyres so we're here then, there's one and there's two and there's three and there's four and there's five and lights and it's Leclerc the Hamilton at the front but at the back we've had a shot of it lit up the rear tyres can absolutely no way have been mugged they're flying centre we tried to go down the inside of lines but we had to go over the, over the curb to avoid contact with them and now down the inside we're fighting at the back to not be in last place and we keep Rice right, Wilson behind before about the inside on Sir Lancelot but didn't want to risk it this early on in the Grand Prix but now as we go down we're ready we're waiting for it down the inside of several cars we've got Joey we've got Lance and now we're going to go down the inside of Pierre Gasly and get that job done next up is the Haas of Kevin Magnussen but Gasly's not giving up but eventually he has to as we get the job done in him on the exit of the corner now we go wide we nearly hit the nearly hit to the barrier there going over the bridge now and we're going to send it to the inside of Kevin Magnussen we catch him napping and we're up pretty much back to where we were into P15 at the start of the Grand Prix just half a lap later after that shocking start but now going on to lap 2 Magnus are going back at us we squeeze him right to the inside and he stays behind us for now has to back out of it otherwise there would have been contact and one lap later he's trying the same trick though as we come out of the final corner there he is up the inside of us again we squeeze him to the inside again this time though he's further alongside He's also on the soft tyres. And so he's two stopped in this race, surely. Unless he's going a long way on the hard tyres. But he managed to fend off Magnussen for the rest of this stint. But we just couldn't get close enough to Esteban Ocon to make a move. As he pits now, he goes on the, on the soft tyres. All of these you see coming into the pits now are all on the soft tyres so we'll see what strategies they're doing I think if they really want to make one stop wide it has to be the hards but it's mediums for us to find knock on which confirms the two stop strategy and that may not be the way to go about this race but we will have to wait and see we managed to keep Gasly behind Keeping him at jabbing distance, but on lap 10, the tyres seem to have hit the cliff. No grip going through those first couple of corners. Now though, that's allowed Gasly 
to get on the back of us and Gasly is going to try and go to the inside but we carve him across at that corner but a couple of laps later all the way on to lap 14 and we are pitting to make our one and only stop of the day we managed to keep Gasly behind after that little move he couldn't really get close enough but as we come down a bit lane now we time it to perfection and now we can put on the hard tyres and we are sorted but no we've been held up in the stop it may have been a perfect stop but we've been held up by the Alfa Tower by the Alfa Romeo and that means we've lost out to Gasly and you can see everyone else we've lost out to those on the two stops the miles of the road we go over the right line and that's not good that's really not good we were just about staying ahead of Gasly this is now Lance coming out of the pits he's also doing the same the same strategy as us and out of the pits now where are we in this battle and there we are we're just ahead of Lance Stroll we were miles ahead of him on the track so that overcut strategy has brought him back into play in this race which is something I don't want and now this is the two stoppers making their final stops of the day on lap 20 turn on to another set of the mediums is Yuki Tsunoda so with all of us on our hard tyres he's going to be rapid in that Alpine and now Lance is on the back of us and he's going to try and overtake us things are still very 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 tense in the Aston Martin camp and Lance thought he could overtake us but he didn't realise that we were going to put up a fight and this is Schwartzman keeping it so now that I'll be only just the feather on round the lap down the inside goes Yuki Sonoda and he is through and now this is from the podium Sergio Perez is slowing down the winner from Monza last time out he's a different kind of out he's out of the race and now this is Stroll coming down our inside we swap him the dummy go back up his inside and make him look a little bit silly there but there may have just been contact this is what it looked like from Yuki Tsunoda there may have just been contact as well but Sir Lancelot served him on a plate he thought he got us but we had other ideas this is Carlos Sainz now on the back of George Russell coming through the final corner there's sentient smoke and he's slowing down and with the amount of penalties that man has taken in the last couple of races you wouldn't think that engine would blow so it's an Odin out on the back of Lance Stroll to the inside at turn one Stroll is trying to put up a fight round the outside Sonoda is still there though now Lance on the outside Sonoda's going to have the grip on the fresher medium tyres and they're still side by side in surely not yes yes he is so now he's still right around the outside of that stroll and now we're just a couple of laps to go so now he finds himself finds himself on the back of us he goes to the inside of turn one and he's got us tried to do a cut back like we did with lance that didn't work and we couldn't really put up the fight like lance did but with some right on the back of him can we maybe have a look at the dive one into the corner coming up turn seven i think it is of course we are we're gonna go to the outside but he forces us off the track but we've just about kept our nose in and we re overtake the alpine here he is this is charles leclerc he has controlled the race he's gonna win again and he put himself within touching distance of his second world title he wins in Singapore Max Verstappen he's going to come home for P2 just ahead of Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris and we are just about going to hold on for P11 as we go through the final sector into the final chicane so who have tried we kept him at bay and we are going to round the final corner for a P11 here in Singapore. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part
Fermi. Never easy to make it across the finish line here in Singapore, but they've done so with some style here today to take a remarkable victory. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. So then Charles Leclerc wins the Singapore Grand Prix. He is very, very close now to his second world title. And after a season that started pretty strongly from those behind, he's really come on strong as the season has gone on. You can see the table now not far off that second title. Just three races to go in America, Mexico and Brazil. We score no points again and we stay P7 in the Constructors' Championship as well. Not a good day for us, much better than Monza today after that penalty we took. But that's been the Singapore Grand Prix then. Hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, I'm going to be trying something different in terms of commentary. You'll find that out eventually. By the time this video goes out, it will be the end of the year. So I hope you enjoyed my videos this year and I'll see you in 2023.